How does human pressure influence our seas? This is one of the questions that Professor Mike Elliott and a team of scientists within the votes have tried to answer. We try to look at the whole sequence of the way society uses and, and even abuses the sea. Society has a lot of uh, desires, what we call drivers. You know, we want, we want to be able to have recreation, we want to move goods, things like that. What that does is it leads to activities. We go out and fish or we build ports. And what those activities do is they create pressures, what we call pressures. And a pressure is a mechanism of change in the sea. So, for example, if we decided to build a port here, then we would have to dredge the bottom. We would have to deepen the bottom to get the boats in. That dredging is a pressure. It is going to create a change in the system. So we need a way of measuring that change. So what we did in votes was look at ways of measuring that change. Now, if you multiply that one example, dredging for a port, with everything else we do, fishing, recreation, all of these have pressures. So we need to find ways of measuring all of those pressures at the same time. One of the ways of looking at this is to call it a footprint. And we talk about a, a spatial footprint, how big an area is a footprint, and also a, a temporal footprint, how long does a footprint last? So every pressure that we can create from all of these activities like fishing and navigation, all, all of those um, pressures leave its own footprint. The skill for the scientists is to try and measure that footprint and then to tell the policymakers what um, processes we need, what measures we need to control it, to minimise it. And the aim is to make our footprint as small as possible because the bigger the footprint, the more damage it would have on the natural system.